hope everyone will accept this. I mean, that the world is changing. There's a difference between understanding something and accepting something. It'll take time. But this is the only way that's left. We just have to accept it. This isn't a choice we've made freely. We had to choose it. But... It's something we have to do. That's what you want to say, right? I yeah. That's fine, then. Cheer up, Carol. Okay. You think it'll work out, right? Who knows? Judith, I can't tell if you're trying to make me feel better or not. She's not trying to make you feel better. She's just stating facts. Uh, hey, guys. Welcome to Tales of Vesperia, or as I like to call it, Side Quests of Vesperia. Could you be any weaker? We are all done um, with pretty much everything that we have to do plot-wise besides just go to the final dungeon. But there's a lot of side quests that I'm interested in catching up on. And um, Carol just activated a... Did you make that tornado? Was that you? No, I think that was Raven. Um, that's a cool sword, though. As you can see, I'm using different weapons to try and get um, pick up some skills I haven't gotten yet. And that's also making some altered arts happen. So that's always fun. Um, trying to close in on the last few recipes. And we got a lot of skits. Uh, do you guys want a moment? What's the occasion? A little impromptu training session? Well, when I think about fighting Duke, I know I gotta be as strong as I can! Yeah, when he said, I'd expect that from Carol. Yuri brings a twinkle to this old man's eyes to see you training. On second thought, let's call it a day. What? We were just getting started! Never fear! I think I can teach you a thing or two. You can thank me later. <laughs> You're volunteering to help Raven? You're gonna jinx him. <laughs> now, don't be like that. There's no beating an old man once he finds his stride, you know? Oh, really? Guess I'd better keep practicing. We can't count on getting lucky against Duke. All right, Carol. No mercy? No mercy! Fight! All right. Well, we're not going to fight. We're going to go back into the Ornion. Uh, is that how you say it? Ornion? Um, there's... Oh, whoa. New scene right away. Thanks for your hard work. This is for you. Huh? What's this? I'm delivering it to you on Commander... F on Commandant Flynn's orders. This is from Flynn, huh? But what could it be? What is it, Yuri? Yuri! What are you doing? Come on, hurry! Yeah, okay. Got the letter of challenge. Oh, okay, that's, um... I think that's the second one I need to do the... Uh, 100-man melee at... Nordopolica. Oh, I didn't even think of that one. Uh, am I gonna attempt that at some point? Ooh. It used to be just bare land, but it's starting to look like a real town now. It looks like they're building more and more houses, too. Yeah! Look on that roof over there! That's the master carpenter of the Carpenters Guild! He heard about Ardian and came with all his tools and apprentices to help. He even refused to take money for it! He's so generous! Hmm. Looks like the manly carpenters are out in full force. You could learn a thing or two from them. So yeah, there's going to be like a million things to do, a million little side quests, a million little conversations. For example, Flynn here. I'm glad to see that you're all safe. You must be tired. Someone, please show them to their rooms. You know, I can't think of what Flynn's voice sounds like, actually. Not off the top of my head, I can't think of what he sounds like. He didn't show me to my room, he just stood somewhere. Man, could you like move your arm or something? Like, it's this way. Let's go. Well, maybe if you weren't all walking so slowly. My gosh. Alright, go on. Come on. Do you really have time to be lounging around? We can't afford to make any mistakes. We have to be careful about things. That doesn't sound like you, Yuri. Aren't you the one who's always acting irrational and reckless? Nah, I think you're thinking of yourself, Flynn. <laughs> yeah, Flynn is recklessly lawful good sometimes. I can't imagine you'd be hesitating at this point, so... What is it that you need? It is just some encor... It is just some encouragement? Shouldn't that say, is it just some encouragement? I'm still looking for the right finishing move. If that's the case, maybe I can be of assistance. Your work can wait. I can't think of anyone who'd make a better practice partner for you. And it appears Captain Schwann prefers to use a bow to fight anyway. I appreciate the help. I'll take you up on that offer. Excellent. 
Hope it doesn't make me fight again. I'm carrying a crappy weapon. I slept so nicely. I tried shaking you and calling your name, but you wouldn't wake up. I thought you were gone, Rita. Huh, what a relief. You must have been more tired than we thought. Are you two still at it? Yes, they've been fighting with hardly a moment's rest ever since they started. They look like they're enjoying themselves. They've got some nerve. When all... When... When are we going to leave? It's stifling here. I'm going to go do some maintenance on the Vesperia 1 or something. Oh, I'll help. I'd say Rita's pretty similar, really. So we're just getting scenes all around, I guess. Oh! Take that, and how about this? Ugh! <laughs> Ack. That was... Yep, it looks like you got the hang of it. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, bro, for the new move, bro. You don't need to thank me. It, if it helps you pull off what you're planning to do, that's enough for me. Yuri, Flynn! Everybody walks so slowly in these cutscenes. Are you finished? Yeah, sorry to keep you waiting. Alright, shall we go? Huh? Hold on. Let me rest just a little bit. We don't have time to be lounging around. Alright, last one there's a rotten egg. Good luck out there. Leave it to me. You know I'm gonna be lounging around all over the place doing side quests, right? I bet that... I bet that high five really hurts when he's wearing that gauntlet. Final Gale. It's an arcane art. I think I can use it to, like, learn some really cool stuff, actually. Is fighting really the only option with Duke? Well, if he's in Tarkaron, then I think we'll have to. If only we can defeat the Autophagos with the spirits before he completes the formula. Do you think he'll just let that happen? As long as he's sacrificing people to achieve his aims at Tarkaron, we have to stop him. <sighs> Are you that conflicted about fighting him? Yes. But we won't win if we go in with doubts. Oh, I don't know. If doubting is part of your nature, you should trust that nature in battle. What? Well said, Judith. Maybe that's the right approach. We're not your typical band of heroes, after all. You do what you can. You take the hits, but you don't lose. Sound about right? Rita. Judith. Thank you. Aw, that's sweet. Well, that that was probably sweet. I actually Ah shoot, I wasn't listening. Okay, I'll hear it while I was while I'm editing this. Um I was looking at my side quest board. There's so much to do. There's so many little tick marks to make. Um yeah, let's uh, stay at the inn a couple times, see what kind of special scenes we can get, because I know there's a lot of them. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? I didn't play music, so I know we got something. Come to think of it, I forgot to ask. You said you were looking for a book. Why? Oh, did I say that? You can stop playing dumb, Judith. I'm not going to fall for it anymore. He's my dad. What? So, that wasn't that wasn't me re reading Rita's lines. That, what? Hermes. Aw, oh, no. No fair. That pisses me off. I thought Hermes was going to be Rita's dad. What? What the... I mean, how... But you... And you broke all those Blastia. I destroyed the Blastia precisely because it was my dad who'd, ma who'd made them. Well, why didn't you tell me that sooner? Don't you think that's important to know? I don't really think the connection between Hermes and myself is that important myself. Ugh. You don't seem to realize the importance of sharing any of your, your knowledge. So, you were destroying the Blastia your father had made to atone for his mistakes? No, I'm hardly that noble. I was just trying to clean up his mess before anyone noticed. What do you mean? So, you weren't doing it for the planet. You were doing it for your father. Yes, I guess so. Wow, that really changes things about Judith. I can't understand how you could feel that sort of sympathy. I don't have a father, so... You don't remember your father? He left right after I was born. There's no way I could remember him. I hardly even remember what my own mother's face looked like. Aw, oh, Rita. I see. You guys should probably talk quieter. Estelle's trying to sleep right there. What's that? It's a keepsake of my dad, a thermoblastia used to measure the temperature. He created some things that weren't harmful, too. I thought all blastia was harmful. Well, okay. 
Hermes must have been really amazing to create new Blastia so easily like that. You can have it. What do you mean? Isn't it a memento of your father? That's why I'm giving it to you. That's why you're... What? I think you'd be a better person to have it than I would. I don't know much about Blastia anyway. Don't you think it's better for the Blastia if you're holding on to it? Wait, but why should I... You should keep the Blastia. Think of it as for its own good. But... All right, how about we call it a night? Uh, good night. Good night. Well, that changes things a lot. <laughs> Feel free to give it a name if you like. Are you going to sleep in those boots, Judith, for real? But, I mean... All right, then. Juana it is. Juan That's how I'd say that, right? Juana? <laughs> That's a cute name. I'm sure she's quite happy with it. Juana. What? Okay, I really, I really thought they were setting up that Hermes was Rita's father. Um, because we didn't really need that any more of Judith's backstory. But okay, we, at least Judith got to talk about her parents, so that was cool. Man, Barney is just getting better and better. Indeed. A town born from the Empire and the Guilds. I'm sure it'll be a wonderful city. Though it's a shame it took a world crisis to get them to work together. <laughs> Global threat brings people together. That's irony for you. I think that's all right, though. They're finally seeing eye to eye. Right. And even if they need a crisis now, I'm sure one day it'll just come naturally. Yeah. This is why crises are an important part of history. Um, if I sleep right now, am I going to get another scene right away? It looks like I am. It's not playing the sleepy time music. Whoa. Oh, fire. Fire. Ah, the inn's on fire. Why is the inn on fire? When faced with a daunting foe, they often betray their comrades and save themselves. Um, thanks. Am I having a weird dream with Ifrit? They gain more power than they need and grow overconfident once they have it. This is this freaky. my understanding of human nature. Okay, so there's Undine. Humans are quite interesting. They become distrustful once betrayed. Um, yeah, do... Do, do Antilochia not become distrustful when betrayed? I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure Pharaoh was like that. We slander a friend, and the next we move to feelings of love. Yeah, you guys were never emotional we about anything. compassionate, or be lost to depravity. Truly puzzling creatures. Oh, don't act all high and mighty. So there's Sylph. Formerly Chroma. dangerous. How long until they are drowned by their thirst for power? How long until they betray all those dear to them in their struggle for supremacy? When they stand before a mighty enemy, will they keep their resolve? And there's Gnome. Formerly... Gusius? Um, Do you not oh, right. Himself? Gnome doesn't talk. <laughs> yeah, um, you guys were saying that Gnome is silent in the entire game. That's too bad. Gnome was really funny in Tales of Symphonia. I wished only to convey the delicacy of the situation. Should they ever become too great a nuisance, we need only burn them to the ground. It seems that the conversion to spirit form has not tempered our leader's fiery wrath. Nor has there been any change in the optimism that so characterized you, Undine. And you remain every bit as cautious and careful as you ever were. Has not that fear kept you in constant concern over the catastrophe in the sky? It was all the Intelikea and humans could do to seal it away 1,000 years ago. What about the, um... The Intelikea and the humans, but what about also the, um... Oh, crap, what are they called? The Critians. Are Critians considered humans? The humans have said that as spirits, we possess the power to defeat it. However... Say no more. Speaking it out loud will only further increase your worry. I, I don't know if you guys are speaking out loud. You're on some kind of astral plane. We can't hear you. We are a new power that will form the cornerstone of this world. The Adephagos is nothing. We may possess enough power to defeat the Adephagos once and for all. But all our work will have been for naught if the humans cannot face this threat. 
Do not forget that it is the mortals who must use our powers against the Atafagos. Did you not place your faith in their hands? As there are no others to whom we can turn, I will entrust them with our final hope. Then be content to stand by and watch over them. Believe in them. I too await the day when I make known my full power. Ugh. Gnome is kind of the repeat of the spirits. Speak, gnome. If you have something we should know. Yeah, Gnome, speak. He says we are left to make one of two choices. D really? He said all that with that one whimper? Perish along with this world, or entrust our powers to the humans. They may be fragile, but their hearts burn with a determination to live. I will stand with them. Do you mean it, Gnome? He says I, too, share their desire to go on living. D he didn't say anything that time. That is the life for those who grow old and die. We must live as suits our nature. No. Like them, the oncoming catastrophe could sow the seeds of our obliteration as well. No. Let us, too, struggle for as long as we can, as the humans do. Okay. Gnome's like, yeah, Goodbye. yeah, let's do it. Well, okay. Uh, that was an interesting little abstraction from the plot. Great. Cool. All right. Um, wow, I'm looking over at my timer now. We're already, like, quite a ways into this episode. Um, let's keep trying now. Up. Oh, no. That time, it, that time it wasn't anything new. Oh, well. Okay, here we go. Got another one. I had to leave the village and come back in. What do we got? Yep, we're back here. You're still reading that book? I've just gotten to a really good part. And... Phew, your dad was really a great man, Judith. Estelle can sleep through anything, my god. Why do you say that? Hermes had already deduced how elemental spirit conversion could be used. Yes, it's not hard to believe that someone as smart as he was would have been able to accomplish that. But not as but not as something to use for the disasters that we're facing now, but rather as a possibility for the far, far-off future. Long after humans have been wiped out, and probably after the Antilochea themselves are gone from the world. When the planet Terkelumin... I never know how to say this. Terkelumerace is approaching the twilight years of its life. All air on the planet will undergo spirit conversion through mana. But right now, quite unexpectedly, spirit conversion is being done by human hands. Even though people, and the world itself, aren't ready for it to happen. Now we have to find a way to continue to do all of those things. Those things that people have used Blastia and Air for so long to do that they take them for granted. Yes, but this book goes into great depth about the intricacies of air. If I use this and what I know to do some experiments with elemental spirits, I might be able to come up with a me method of creating a new type of Blastia, one that doesn't use air. Really? His formulas are a little bit complicated, but I think I'd like to give them a try. A high output model like a barrier Blastia might be impossible, but anything is better than nothing, right? Yes, of course. I'm sure you'll be able to do it, Rita. I'm so impatient to get started. Maybe I'll just try an experiment or two right now. No, don't rush. We all have to stay in tip-top shape for the battles ahead, you know? Yeah. Well, good night. Alright. Maybe some sleep might be nice. Oh, so you want sleep, huh? I have a feeling I'm going to be sleeping a lot in this episode. And another one. Another one, another one. Another! Throws the mug down. Oh, nope. Wait. No, it was just sleep. Oh, nope. Okay. I was right. It is a thing. Good morning. Did, did they really want me to sleep at the end this many times in the post-game? This town's gotten pretty cozy. Good morning, everybody. Huh? Is Judith still asleep? She wasn't in her room. Oh, good morning, everyone. Well, I'll be off. Sorry I couldn't be of any more help. No, not at all. Thanks for your time. Okay, this is the one I was looking for, I think. You had business with the president of Fortune's Market? 
She just came to give me an update on something I'd been asked... I'd asked her about a while ago. Something you asked her about? You mean, the spear that was taken from you back in Gasforest? Yes. The spear that you used to destroy all that Blastia. So, you've been looking for it? That was a pretty nice spear. So, did President Kaufman tell you anything useful? There hasn't been any news. So far as spear... So far as spears out on the market are concerned. So she said it might be a good idea to try to track down the Blood Alliance. The Blood Alliance, huh? I wonder if they had another base besides Gasforest. So, do you want to look for it? Nah, that's okay. Really? But you were so intent on finding it. Yeah, but it's reached the point that it might not be worth the trouble anymore. The Atafagos isn't going to wait for us while we look for it, you know? I see. Well, if you really don't mind, then we don't have to look for it. Anyway, we're all together. Shall we head out? Yeah! Um, I'm a little worried here. That is that what's supposed to happen? I feel like that wasn't what was supposed to happen. Um... My... Wait a second. My guide was telling me this whole thing about she would give up at this point if I hadn't done stuff I was supposed to do. Okay, last chance to make this work. Um, apparently, don't know how I would have figured this out on my own, but using Rita, I can... Blastia was unearthed during the development of this town. But it won't work because there's no core and it's broken. It'll make a perfect monument, though. That... No, that's what it said to do. It said to talk to him as Rita, with Rita as my leader, and... Um... No, no, I want the spear! I want the spear! Did I lose the spear? Um... Uh... Uh... Even though it doesn't work, the Blastia can offer a sense of security as a symbol of the town. Uh... Say something else! Tell me something else! Ah, uh, damn it. Wait, okay, I found something. I found something. Wait. Hey, Repeat. Um... Repeat really likes Flynn, doesn't he? He's so lucky. I don't... This doesn't have anything to do with a spear. Well, Repeat also thinks of Flynn as his owner. A long time ago, Flynn and I used to look after Repeat together. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Did Repeat used to have such a cold personality? Oh, and Repeat fought with us when I was fighting alongside Flynn. That's cool. Yeah, he did. So, how did you and Flynn get to be such good friends with him? We just took care of him. One time, Repeat got hurt really badly. Flynn and I stayed up all night tending to his wounds and making sure he was okay. Is that maybe how Repeat got his scar? Yeah. Come to think of it, didn't you say that Repeat got his Blastia as a keepsake from his old owner? I wonder if his Bodhi Blastia has anything to do with the time that he got hurt. Hmm, good question. Were you the one who gave Repeat his name? Nah, that was his last owner. Repeat seems to like his own name, so I didn't really have the heart to give him a new one. You're so nice, Yuri. Maybe Repeat's got a promise to keep to his old owner, and that's why he acts so unfriendly all the time. A hard-boiled hound who's still loyal to his old owner. Sounds pretty cool, don't you think? Stop romanticizing Repeat's life. He's playing with Flynn. Maybe he's just a big softy inside? You've gotten so strong, Repeat. Take good care of Yuri, okay? Tough Hound. Well, I got a title for Repeat. That's all well and good. But where the hell is this spear? So, Yuri has a history too. I'd like to know where all of you came from. Hmm, where should I start? We already know what you're gonna say, you big wuss. Ugh, fine. Rita, then how about you? I've done research in Ospio for a while. Jeez, big shocker there. What about you, Judith? Me? I lived in a town before I met Bowel. Everybody called me a prim and proper little girl. You gotta be kidding. Estelle, you grew up in the castle, right? Yes, I spent all of my time in the castle reading books. I'm so jealous of all of you. See? No surprises! Just like Rita's story! 
Doesn't anyone want to ask old Raven? I might have some interest in tales to tell. In your case, old man, I think I've got a pretty good idea what you'd say. My past might spin you for a loop and have you fallen head over heels for me. You don't know. I can't say you've established a lot of credibility so far as stories are concerned, old man. Don't be so cold. Come on, let me tell my story. Aw, I want to hear your story, Raven. Well, guys, I think we missed Judith's special spear. I don't know how I did it. I swear I did everything that was on this checklist, but it's just not showing up. Oh, wait, there was another thing. There's a check. There's a check. Is this the Barrier Blastia 2? It's not activated yet. Is this it? Is this it? Is this what I needed to do? Even if it's not working, maybe they want to leave it here as a symbol of protection for the city. I think I figured it out. Oh, what did you figure out? Why, I like Blastia, that is. For me, Blastia are like my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. I didn't have a father while I was growing up, and my mo mother died when I was young, too. But Blastia were always with me, even when no one else was. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about video games, I guess. Except I had a great family, so... Still have a great family, present tense. So, that's what you mean by brothers and sisters. That makes sense. It's also a little bit neurotic. You should probably see a psychiatrist. And my knowledge of Blastia developed and grew as I did. Maybe that's why I always felt so close to them, and why I got so mad when they were broken. <laughs> you were breaking her brothers and sisters, Judith. God. But I'll have to be saying goodbye to all of those Blastia soon. Oh, that's kind of sad. Brothers and sisters. Can't be together with you forever. Someday, you have to leave them behind and move on. Not necessarily. When you find someone who's even more important to you, but just because you're separated from them, and doesn't mean that doesn't mean that the important link you had to them is broken. Well, yeah, I, okay. This analogy works in that a lot of brothers and sisters grow up like in the same household and then aren't anymore. Eh, maybe you're right. And just because you're apart, that doesn't mean that you have to forget how important they are or how much you love them. Yes, but in this case, all of them are being destroyed to make spirits. And Rita, you found a lot of people who care about you very much, isn't that right? Hmm. You've still got a long way to go before you're as good as the Blastia. <laughs> a long way to go? Apparently so. You're terrible, Rita. This is how you repay my love? You shrew. You're so annoying, and you're the worst of all, old man. Maybe someday Rita will learn how to take affection gracefully. I don't think it's so bad. I mean, I think that's one of her cutest traits. Aw. Was that really it? Wait, I can check it again. Maria. I'll be back. Maria! I just named a Blastia Maria! Going off and naming Blastia whenever she wants to. I think it's a very cute name. So, we named Blastia Maria. I think that's what we needed to do. I think. Okay, is it here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ever since we lost Barbos, we've absolutely... We're... Oh, sorry, I'm just so excited. Ever since we lost Barbos, we've been absolutely pathetic. What's more, the Blood Alliance got tossed out of the five master guilds. If the boss hadn't sold this city to Alexei, we would have had a strong guild presence with a respectable base stronghold here. Thanks to Alexei's damned Blasi experiments, we're stuck in these wretched ruins. At least we got one good piece of booty, that damned Dragon Rider spear. I hear the spear is pretty famous. The old man at the smithy said so. I like how they're just talking about this while we calmly move around to them. Who dare set foot inside our hideout? Wait, aren't you Barbos's? That spear! Wait, these kids! They're the little punks that beat the boss at gas for us. What? We haven't done anything wrong. Everything we did, it was on our boss's orders. Crap. Let's get out of here. Hold it. Leave that spear. Why? That belongs to one of our members. We can't let you have it. You too. 
Hell no! That spear is ours! N what you should be saying is this spear is ours because you're holding it. Never mind. What's that? You're ready to fight to defend it? Damn it! <laughs> we got it! We got it! We got the stupid spear! There you go. Really? You're giving this to me? This is the spear that destroyed all the Blastia, you know. It's important to you, right? We're, weren't you looking for it? This is the spear of my oath. The oath that no matter how hard it got, even if no one understood or wanted to help, I would continue in my quest with Ba'ul. I swore on this spear a symbol of the bond between Ba'ul and me. Wow, and it's really important to you. And you were just going to give up on getting it back? Thanks to you all, I've learned that you can have a bond with someone without any physical objects to back it up. Really? You needed that lesson taught? Okay, oh well. But Judith, you should never have to forget feelings that are important to you. You can't just give up on them. I'm sorry. Judy, I don't think you need to be apologizing here. You're right. Thank you, Rita. D don't mention it. I was just running my mouth, that's all. Really? Thank you. Maria, say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. I'm so happy. I didn't think I was going to get it. Okay, wait. Equip. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, the Brainiac. Aerial combo three and aerial armor. Avoid staggering when hit while jumping. That's, that is sweet. That is pretty darn sweet. Let's take it. Is that our most powerful spear right now? Yes, it is. It's more powerful than the bell arm right now. Ah, oh, guys, I'm sorry. This was a super talky episode. I know they're going to keep being super talky episodes. Um, we'll find ways to go around, all right? If you want to skip forward to the end, I'm sure I'll post the episode that actually goes to the next dungeon that actually goes to Tarkaron soon enough. In the meantime, I just, I have a lot of work to do. There's... We only get so much time with Tales of Vesperia, and I want to lap up every second of it. I'm the Comic Foil, and I got a fancy new spear.